In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert numbers in base 10 that are written in this small form to other bases. But before then, let us refresh our memory. Remember in our previous lesson, I told you number based system is a system of counting in bundles. And sometimes this number based system is very much related to medullar arithmetics, which is also a remainder arithmetics. Consider a number five, which is in base 10. So first we want to convert this five to base two. We are going to partition this five in groups of two, in whichever two forms a bundle. So first this is what we have, one, two, three, four, five. Every two form a bundle, every two form a bundle, but this one does not contain a partner, so we consider it as a remainder. But this is a complete bundle because there are two. They equally form one. So you can see uh, from the left to right, uh, in the first category, we have a remainder of one. Here, we do not have a remainder, so we consider it as zero. But here, we have a remainder of one. This is to say, five in base 10, it is the same thing as you start taking these remainders from right to left. We have one, zero, and one in base two. So now let us see how we can convert these numbers to their corresponding assigned bases. To convert 24.25 to base two, first of all, we are going to convert the whole number part to base two. This is 24. We are going to form a successive division of this number using two. Two into 24 is 12 times without a remainder. 2 into 12 is 6 times without remainder. 2 into 6 is 3 times without remainder. 2 into 3 is 1 with remainder of 1. 2 can no longer go into 1, so we stop. We take these numbers from bottom to the top. This means that 24 in base 10 is equal to we start with this, one, one, zero, zero, zero. Base two. But we have a decimal part, which is 0 0.25. To convert 0 0.25, we are going to multiply by two instead of dividing. So if you time this by two, you shall obtain 0 0.5. Take away the whole number. The whole number is zero, you take it away. Taking away zero, we have 0 0.5. Multiply it by two again. This will be 1.0. Take away the whole number. Taking away one, we will be left with 0, 0.0. So even if you times it by two, you shall obtain 0. Point zero so you stop here so these numbers we are going to take them from the top to the bottom we conclude by saying 0 0.25 is the same thing as 0 0.01 finally 24.25 is the same thing as the whole number part we have one one zero 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 point zero one in base two so this is how to convert numbers that contain decimals to other bases let's see how we can convert this number to base three now to convert this number to base three let us start converting the whole number to base three three if you divide three by three you shall obtain one without remainder. Three cannot go into one, you stop. And conclude by saying three in base 10 will be equal to one zero in base three. Now the decimal part is 0 0.25. You multiply it by three, you shall obtain 0 0.75. 
take away this whole number, which is zero. Taking away the whole number, still you'll be left with 0 0.75. Multiplied by three again, this will be equal to 2.25. Take away the whole number, which is two. Taking away the whole number two, you'll be left with 0 0.25 times it by 3, you will get 0 0.75. Take away the whole number, 0. Taking away that whole number, you will be left with 0 0.75. Times it by 3 again, you shall obtain 2.25. Take away the whole number, which is 2. You can see it's just a repetition. It is recording 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2 in that order. Take these numbers from the top to the bottom. And finally, this 3.25 in base 10 will be equal to, you start with the whole number part, which we obtain 10, 10 point. We have 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2 continuously recording. So we have 0, 2, 0, 2. This means that 0, 2 is recording. It is recording. So this is how to convert numbers that contain decimals in base 10 to other bases. In our next class, we shall see how to convert numbers from other bases back to base 10. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.